Over the years, we have sat down with hundreds of families in Alabama and talked to them about what do you do after a foreclosure? Do you stay? Do you go? What are the advantages, the disadvantages? And one thing we have found helpful is to look at four factors, and I want to go over those with you real quick. The first is the economic factors. Second, non-economic factors. Third, the strength of your legal position or your legal case. And then fourth, what do you want? So let's go over those real quick. So the economic factor is to have a, a very uh, objective, uh, kind of remove the emotion from the equation and just say, does it make dollars and cents to stay here in my home? I, I, I've been foreclosed, now I'm being sued. Is this a place worth fighting for? So you look at, well, how much did you owe? Maybe you owed $200,000, but the house is only worth $100,000. Well, would you buy that house from an economic standpoint? Would you buy that house that's worth $100,000? Would you pay $200,000 for it? Probably not. On the other hand, maybe you owe $100,000 and it's really worth $200,000. Well, then you have a lot of equity and that may make economic sense. That's the first factor. Second factor, the non-economic approach or, or the thought process. In other words, forget about the money, forget about whether it makes sense or doesn't make sense financially. Is this a place that you, for non-economic reasons, want or need to stay? Maybe you're close by to family that you need to help taking care of an aged parent. Maybe the school system that your kids are in. Maybe your neighbors. Maybe just this has been your home for so long and you want to stay. And none of these factors are more or less important than the others, but you really have to go through all four of these as you go through this process to try to come to the right decision. So does it make economic sense? How about non-economic? The third factor is how strong is your legal case? Is the mortgage company a debt collector subject to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act? Uh, did they lie to you? Is that in writing that they lied to you? Uh, do you have a weak case? Do you have a strong case? And this is one reason why you should sit down with a lawyer in Alabama who does this type of work, because they can really help you to evaluate not only the economic factors, does it make sense? The non-economic factors, are there emotional reasons for staying? But then how strong or how weak is your case? And then the final factor is just, what do you want to do? Do you, do you want to stay? Do you want to fight? Are you prepared for that? Prepared financially? Prepared emotionally for the fight? Or is this something where you go, you know what, I just want to be done with this. I just want to leave. Now, these factors are not isolated. They all kind of lead into each other. In other words, economics, well, how strong is your case? That may influence how willing you are to fight. How about the non-economic reasons? You say, you know, this was property given to me by my grandfather. It's, it's been in the family a hundred years. I have got to fight for this. That makes sense. Okay. And that may make you say, I don't really care about the non-economic, or excuse me, the economic reason. This property is so important to me, I have to fight. Point is, there's no right or wrong answer, but you need to go through these factors. And so if you live in Alabama and you have questions about a foreclosure, uh, maybe one that's about to happen or that has already happened, maybe you've been sued in an ejectment lawsuit, give us a call. My name is John Watts. You can reach me at 205-879-2447 or you can contact us through our website, alabamaconsumer.com. Thank you very much.